Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy DJ Fanatic at SoundsForProducers.com. Uh, welcome to the continuation of this video where I was working on a beat, basically from our loop packs. I uh, used some random sounds from a couple of these loop packs, the Scorpions thing, Volume One, and I think it was the Breakthrough. Um, if you want to see what sounds exactly I chose out of whatever products or whatever, uh, you check out the previous video. Um, where I started is from scratch. So actually, I finished the beat and it came out pretty dope. Um, it has like this chill vibe to it, and it's like a chill hip hop beat. Uh, nothing too extravagant. It just has a nice little vibe to it. All the drums, all the sounds, um, and I think I used the MIDI from one of the packs as well. But check out the last video to see what I did. Um, you know, to get the beat started. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the sub button, click the bell as well, so that way you're alerted to the new videos that post on the channel, and give a thumbs up if you learn anything. So, I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown of uh, what I did. So, uh, starting out, I think I chose the MIDI from one of the packs. I forgot which one, but uh, the links will be in the description. Um, so, basically, I had a few chords going on. And it's with a pad sound, so check it out. And so you don't get underruns all day. We're just gonna turn off some of the mastering, whoops, mastering things I did. So we'll just turn those off. It'd be a little lower. So that pattern actually repeats all the way through the beat and next I added I did some chords and then I used the arpeggiator um, option in FL Studio and came up with this. Then I just raised it up an octave, the arpeggiation. So it's kind of cool because there's a nice contrast going on there. A lot of movement and then there's a lot of um, sustaining with the pads. Uh, the next sound I think I chose, I think I went straight into the kick. So let's find out. Yeah. So then I just started with the kick pattern that I had in my head. Which kick did I use for that? The cheers kick, cheers kick two. And that's from the uh what pack was it uh it's probably the 2019 breakthrough uh which has some dope sounds in there uh bonus one shots maybe kick cheers kick i'll find it yes i will here it is so it's in the 2019 breakthrough volume three um loop pack and in the bonus section there's a bunch of different percussion sounds and drums Ooh, I like that so uh, so then I came out with this pattern that was just in my head switch up right here So it's like a bounce rhythm, and here comes the snare. And did I do anything crazy with that? Uh, no, just EQ'd some certain frequencies in it. And that obviously is from one of the loop packs as well. And here is, I did some interesting stuff with the hi-hat. Then I did like a vocal stab every, looks like every eight bars, or every 16, I think. Use a little bit of reverb and delay. And next I did an 808. And 
that is from which 808 did I use? The T.808, so that's probably the Scorpion Sting series, uh, which is kind of catered towards Drake's sounds and stuff. Uh, a lot of these exact sounds are Grammy winning songs, so just putting that out there. Um, T.808, so it's in bonus one shots. Let's go to 808s. Nope, not in that one. It's probably volume one. Bonus one shots, 808s. Yep, T.808. And the bass line that I did, it it has a lot of movement. Uh, so check it out. Actually, I already played that. So, and the l other thing I chose, it's like a small um, percussion element. It's like a snap. So I, I played it on the end of the beat. And. Just to add a little something extra. And this last thing that I put in there included, uh, which was, I think it's like another melody in the background. Yep, it's like a vocal melody. And that's all the elements in the beat. Uh, I'll let you hear it from intro into like this chorus area. Actually, I just play it from the chorus into like this verse area and it came out pretty dope. Mixing wise, I didn't do too much. I did stereo separation for the panning. Of course, uh, actually I did halftime for the um, plucks and pull down the mix level just to give it a little layered effect. Uh, made the kick hit a little harder with sound goodizer, uh, snares, just EQ. The hi-hat wasn't even EQ. I usually EQ that, but I felt like, you know, that one was straight. Uh, percussion had reverb on it. And of course, I um, side chained to the kick and 808, and lead just had EQ. And mastering, I used the uh, Isotope uh, products to make it sound like, you know, really clean and pristine. So, um, without further ado, check it out. So you get the idea and I switch it up a little bit on the second verse. So, so you get the idea. Uh, it's a nice little chill laid back beat. It has a nice vibe to it. Um, I thought of something that I showed you guys in another video recently. Instead of going up here to change it vertically, you can go anywhere in a playlist window, hold down alt and use your scroll wheel on your mouse. That way when you're working, you don't have to keep going up here, thus improving your workflow. I think it's shift alt, alt shift. Whoa, don't want to do that. Stop it. Edit, redo, edit. Undo, whatever. It's not Alt Shift, is it? Or Control Alt. There we go. Control Alt Scroll Wheel does it ver um, horizontally. So that way, anywhere in a playlist window, if you hold down Control Alt and use your scroll wheel, you can go make it wider horizontally. Uh, just Alt and Scroll Wheel does it vertical. Instead of going up here every time you do something. So just something I remembered that I, I like to share with y'all and I put it in another video, but you know, it, it wouldn't hurt to be uh, reminded, especially if you forgot. So there you go. Quick little breakdown. Hopefully you like the beat. Um, I didn't really do too much craziness with the mixing. Um, a lot of it just came together quite well. All the sounds are from our loop packs, uh, obviously, except for, you know, the, the sounds that we chose like Omnisphere and whatnot. But um, 
the MIDI actually is from one of the packs as well. And I think I changed the key of it or transposed it. So hopefully, you know, just a little quick breakdown, quick video. Hopefully you're inspired to make something and uh, hopefully you're feeling the beat. Uh, you know, let me know, put it in the comments, whatever, you know, you're feeling or whatever. You want to show love. Love is always welcome. Um, and give it a thumbs up if you're feeling it. Of course, there will be a bunch of links in the description of the loot packs. Uh, they are on sale right now. And also, if you haven't subscribed, click the sub button. Be a part of the community here. Definitely appreciate y'all. And shout out to all our subscribers. Um, it's a new channel, so thank you for the love. And also, uh, click the bell as well so you get to see the other videos. Again, DJ Fanatic at soundsforproducers.com. Peace. That cutoff's crazy. <laughs>